if it's a little dark, it's because it's 6 p.m. And I wasn't going to film because if you guys watch my vlogs, which is like the only other videos I have on this channel, April sadly passed away this morning and I was doing like updates and everything on her. So um, that was really sad and I buried her next to the huckles honeysuckle tree in my mom's backyard but that was really sad and just kind of threw off my day because her and I were cuddling last night and everything was fine and then I put her under her lamp to sleep and then I woke up and she was no longer with us so that kind of threw me off and I didn't really want to film but I think that she would have wanted me to go on you know like with what I usually do with her, but, you know, in spirit. So, in spirit of April, I wanted to make this sit-down video. It's 2020. I'm turning 20 <laughs> in September, not now. I wanted to write down 20 things I want to do this year in 2020 before I turn 20, or the year I turn 20, rather. So, I wrote them down in my little book. One of my number one things, this is not in any particular order at all, I just wrote them down as they came up, um, but moving to Florida is one of the things that I want to do this year, and it's practically already happened um, because of the virus, but once I get my actual stuff down here, it'll feel way more like at home. When I have my car and everything that kind of like makes me me in the sense of materialistic things and I really want to start my bachelor's as well which I elaborated in my college chat um, video and I think once I start my bachelor's I feel like I will like a light bulb will just go off in my head of like okay well now it's like I'm I feel like I'll thrive you know what I mean like I'll thrive, I'll be learning, I'll be getting into what I really want to get my hands in. And then, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading. I really want to go to New York City and ice skate and see the ball drop this year. I feel like that's an experience that a lot of people can't, like, they can't say, like, hey, I got to do that. So I feel like that's one of my big things of like okay well that would be so awesome if I got to do that with a couple friends or family who knows um or even myself you never know I skate whether it's alone or with someone I love or with you know my friends or something like that and I just feel like that's something very romanticized in my head about New York City and like the winter time and New Year's and stuff like that so I really want to do that and I really want to visit Washington this year I don't know when, but I have a lot of friends and other people that I want to see. So it's really just a very nostalgic place for me to be, and I sometimes I crave that a lot, actually. Hopefully sooner than later, because I really do miss my friends and family there, so. Do something that scares me, I wrote down as number five. This could be anything, and... I have already done some one thing, or I guess more than one. I've done a couple things this year that have scared me to death. I mean, moving to Connecticut was very, very scary. I've never moved on my own as like a, a decision. It was my decision. It wasn't like, okay, well, your dad's in the Navy, you have to move. Or, okay, well, we're moving house because my parents or things like that. Um, this That moving to Connecticut from Washington, I... That was my decision, so that was super scary. And then buying my own plane ticket to Florida and coming down here, then deciding to move to Florida, that was also very scary and exciting, but scared and being scared and nervous and exciting is all just different types of the same thing, I think so at least. so. But I do want to do something that scares me. I went into the ocean, <laughs> which I'm actually very, very very scared of the ocean um that's a fear that formed in guam <laughs> and it's funny because i want to move to florida but i went into the ocean and like legit swam if you know me from guam or you know me personally i have a huge fear of like getting eaten or something ridiculous um but quite it does happen uh, just very rare so that's something that definitely scared me i want to 
put that in like a do something that scares me that's like I don't know I just want to do more that scares me <laughs> number six I wrote learn I feel like learning is a huge part of my life and who I am and I always want to be learning because if I stop learning then I stop thriving and I don't want to stop thriving so and then I wrote save money because I really really do want to build up my savings and I want to learn more about finance I feel like that's something that's really It'll be really good for me, not only now, but in the future, and it'll be a huge learning experience um, on how to save money. I want to learn how to budget, like, more effectively. I want to learn ukulele and guitar, which I got my ukulele. I am in the works of learning. I have a little tune, I guess, that I made, um, but those both are coming along. I wrote down for number nine go out of my comfort zone so this could really entail anything just like be something that scares me I guess that those two kind of go together but um going out of my comfort zone I guess doesn't have to scare me it could just be like a different kind of scary like an excitement or something like that maybe doing something that I have never even thought I wanted to do and then doing it anyway you never know. Number 10, I wrote paddleboard because I really want to learn how to paddleboard, which my aunt Bobby and I are already planning it. So 11, I wrote get my own place with a couple question marks because I really would love to be like independent, fully independent, where I pay my own bills. I have my own car. I have my own place. I really want to do that because I feel like I will, it'll teach me a lot of things first of, first of all, and then uh, second of all, I think it'll just really let me know who I am even more as a person and individually, but also with, if I were to get my own place, I feel like I would have to live with some other people or at least one other person, whether that be a friend or who knows, to obviously make it more financially affordable. Also, how do I work with another person in that kind of environment, I guess. 12, I wrote do more art. I always have loved to sketch and paint, but recently, in the past couple of years, I would say, in the majority of my high school years, I loved painting. I really want to have my own prints and stuff, and I feel like that'd be super cool. I also want to get into graphic design this year, so the possibilities are endless who knows maybe people will have an interest in hanging that on their wall who knows <laughs> 13 i wrote give back i was really just thinking like who got helped me get to where i am you know well pretty much everyone in my life <laughs> whether it be bad good ugly beautiful at all people have helped form who i am and a lot of the things that i have done in my life and especially last year last year I think I if last year hadn't gone the way that it had I wholeheartedly can say I almost guarantee I would not be the person that I am today because I did so much reflection and I did so much forgiving for like to myself like I forgave myself for doing bad things or doing things that weren't in my character I forgave those things and I forgave people and I I think it was a lot of reflection forgiving and love last year that I if it hadn't gone the way that it did I went of had to do those things the way that I did and it wouldn't have forced me to make a choice of how am I going to come out of this situation? Do I want to wither away or do I want to like hold grudges in my heart or hate myself for things that I've done in the past? Or do I want to turn this around and be like, no, like this is an opportunity for me and everyone else in my life to make a, a, a situation better. I think getting back to those people and really just thanking them and 
loving them and caring for them and being like, what can I do for you? Um, like I said, whether it was a bad thing that they've done to me that made me like really reflect or made me go out of my comfort zone, something like that, you know, I just want to give back in general. 14, I wrote meet new people. I think meeting new people always gives new opportunities and therefore you can, you never know what's going to happen when you meet new people. <laughs> um, 15, I wrote road trip with friends. This upcoming road trip, going from Connecticut to Florida, if I don't go with friends, I'm not going to count it. I decided that. I'm not going to count it as my, one of my bucket list things of like road trip with friends. I can do the road trip alone, <laughs> but um, I think road tripping with friends is just something, is a whole different experience. It's really make or break. <laughs> and then 16, I wrote help others and then volunteer with a question mark. So I really wanna help others, but not in just a small way. I, I mean, I want to help people in a small way, but I really want to help some, like, I really want to help people in a bigger way for a bigger cause you know what i mean whether it's like a church mission or something like i forget what it's called but you can pretty much sign up and pay to go on these trips to like the philippines or to costa rica or africa or all these different places greece you know these places and learn about their culture do work um like be taught the language or be in you live with a family and you pretty much stay there for your selected time and you help them and you help the wildlife that kind of thing I really have a lot of interest in doing that so maybe who knows that's one of the things I wrote down 18 I wrote work out more I feel like working out is just a huge stress reliever for me so I really want to get back into that and continue with that. 19 I wrote tell stories and make stories so I want to really on this channel I really want to take this opportunity to really like tell more about things I've learned and kind of video diary that in a sense so that not only I can look back but other people can look back and or look forward and learn about okay, well, what, what, what was her high school experience like? Or blah, 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 you know? Mostly for me to have my own video diary and look back and be like, okay, well, at 19, this is what I thought. Or this was my view, that kind of thing. So I really want to tell stories of what I already have lived and how that ended up working out for me or not working out for me. It'll help me grow at the end of the day, I think, going forward. And then I also wrote make stories. I love telling stories and hearing stories and I just, I want to make more and I want to make more memories. I want to document making stories and thriving and not thriving and everything in between. <laughs> I just... I think life is really, really beautiful, and it can also be super sad, but that doesn't mean that it's not beautiful, and I want to show all of, all of those sides, full circle, um, of what life was like and is like for me. And number 20, I wrote invent with a underline. <laughs> I think this year I, I have a lot of personal goals but I also have a lot of unstructured life, <laughs> um, as you do. <laughs> For 2020 and me turning 20 and entering my 20s, my word, I want it to be invent because not only do I want to invent things, create things, whatever other synonym you have for invent, but I want to invent myself and like who I am becoming because that is ever changing and will forever change. Who I make myself in 2020 will be the person that I go into the other years, 2021. And the person I make myself in 2021 will be the one that goes into 2022. And it's a very simple concept, but I think when you break it down like that, it really just 
for me at least, it makes me be like, wow, like I could do a lot. <laughs> if I were to make a person and be like, okay, well, what do I want them to do? Or what would be super cool? Kind of like playing The Sims. I play The Sims hardcore. <laughs> and I always am like, okay, well, this is my plan for them. What's my plan for me? Just inventing is super cool. And I want to do more of that. So those are the 20 things I want to do in 2020, the year that I turned 20. And I hope you all enjoyed or took some interest. <laughs> share some comments if or like share what you want to do in 2020 in the comments if you want to share 23 20 things in the comments do it i also have a instagram it's yt.doorspates all lowercase and if you want to dm me or follow that by all means go ahead um i only have a few posts right now but it's a work in progress Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my short little video. Hopefully it's short, I don't know, but I will see you all.